Hi pen friends, this is Sarah. And Eve. Today I'm going to be showing you my collection of leather notebook covers. And also do you like my shawl? <laughs> so Eve created the shawl from a blanket and the clip. Yeah. All right. This is um, my a little bow. And then after I show like, you my notebook covers, we're going to look at the paper that's in them and test it with a fountain pen. Well, I'm going to test it. <laughs> yeah. So my first leather cover that I ever got was a gift from my mom, and it's this stamped leather one with oak leaves and acorns, and it's a um, binder type one, six ring binder, and I use that for my bullet journal, and I just um, cut and punch the paper to fit it. Um, <coughs> And then after that, um, I saw a lot of videos of Chic Sparrow notebook covers, and I was interested in the Scout cover. Um, and when they came, first came out with them, they sold out really quickly, and I got frustrated because I and, couldn't get one. Yeah, she was so really sad. I went on Etsy, and I found this vintage one that goes really well with my other cover because it's got the oak leaves and acorns. And this one was actually like about half as expensive as any of the Chic Sparrow notebook covers. So, yay, so you saved money that. and you got something that yeah. you wanted. And I really, and this one's like, you know, one of a kind. So if you're looking at, it was a vintage one if I didn't mention. So, you know, if you're looking for something less expensive, I would suggest going that route. Um, I got that on Etsy. And My mom has a lot of, I think like vintage boxes for pens and vintage yeah, I really like vintage things. Yeah. Um, and she then a lot of vintage when she Sparrow in came out with the Giovanni leather, I got one of those in the A5 size. And it's it feels kind of like a leather jacket. And it has oh, that like, squeakiness. Ooh, ooh. And I don't ooh. like the um, elastic that they put on it, so I took the elastic out and just put a ribbon in the hole there. Um, but also, so this ooh. is like the folio kind, so it doesn't have the elastics to hold the notebook in. It has pockets on the sides that you put the cover into. But I still couldn't get the Scout one out of my mind, um, and later on I ended up getting several of them because the Scouts have like a sort of like a crackling pattern. They call it like a lightning pattern. And a pen um, clip! I see a pen in yeah. there! So We aren't talking about pens, we're talking about paper! <laughs> so that pattern and the color um, can really vary from notebook to notebook cover. And I ended up getting three Another pen. <laughs> of the um, golden brown scout covers. And another and pen. And they all Here. look quite different. So, like, the first one I got has an all-over crackly pattern, and then I got another one that just has, like, a few crackles on it, and I actually had to, um, it had very few when I got it, and I rolled the cover, which means just, like, scrunching it up, to make a few more of those patterns, because it really didn't have very many to begin it with. It looks a bit used. And, um, this one, I highly suggest looking at the, um, Facebook group for... Um, buy, sell, trade, Chic Sparrow covers. That's where I got this one. Um, and that way you can see what you're going to be getting because on the Chic Sparrow website, um, they don't show you the exact one that you're going to get. So you don't know really what it's going to look like until you get it. Um, and this one I actually did get on the Chic Sparrow website. I got it as a um, happy accident. So if they have ones that are kind of have some sort of problem, they list they sell them for a little bit cheaper. And the problem with this one is this giant, like, I don't know what this is, but I, I don't like it, but it's on the back of the cover. Yeah, I don't so, like it either. At first like, I was like, did you crumble that? Yeah. What it, happened? Like, the texture of it, it's sort of raised, and it gives me the Wiggins. Or, the know, Wiggins. <laughs> like, if I touch it, it feels Ugh. kind of disgusting. I don't like that. Oh, but it it's on the back, so I just try to ignore it. It doesn't feel good for me either. I like it, the front. I and feel like it looks like it's sandpapered yeah, off. I don't know what that is. I, lo I love the, like, crackle effects, but this is, like, really bumpy, and I don't like that. Lumpy. But I took it's out lumpy. the um, elastic from this one and just put, like, 
a bit of kneadable eraser and painted it so to sort of get rid of that hole. Um, and then this one has like, actually, yeah, this one has the elastics in here to hold the book in if you want, but I just tuck the ends into um, the cover. And so the, um, the Scout covers are actually made from the Maverick leather. They used to have ones that were called Maverick and they had this leather in, on the outside and the inside, but since they didn't have a lot of that leather, now they make the Scout covers that use Maverick leather on the front and then creme leather for the inside And also, pockets. Mom, I found, I found something that is the same with all those three books. Yeah. They all have pens in them! Yeah, so they, they have, they've changed their pen loop um, several times, and I guess this is kind of the old style. It's just like sewn in and it's a nice shape and I like that. Um, I'm going to show you a All different the good style stuff. <laughs> in a little bit, but anyways, this, this one of my um, scouts is my favorite. I love this pattern of crackling or lightning strikes that it's got on it. And this one's my least favorite. Just oh, like, well, yeah. yeah, the back of it is kind of yucky, but you can see yeah. like how different these look. Yeah, so, so different. Um, you know, I got these ones before this one. If I would gotten one like this to begin with, I might not have gotten the other ones, but I really wanted one that looked like this. And this one I also got on the buy sell trade on um, Facebook. So I was able to see that what it was going to look like before I bought it. Um, so I really think that's the way to go. And you also get them a little bit cheaper than buying them on the Chic Sparrow website. Okay, and then I also got the dark, wow, you have a lot of pen. the dark brown Thanks. scout cover. So they have like a black scout, dark brown, I and just found something. golden brown. So most of mine are golden brown, but this one's the dark brown. So you can see the difference. Yeah. I can can you hold this I... one? <laughs> hold that one up. So you can see the difference between the golden brown and the dark brown. And I like all of them, but I guess I like the golden brown. This better. one I this call like cool. dark chocolate brown. That's yeah. what I call dark chocolate brown. Okay, dark and chocolate. then... Um, uh, hey, I want to tell you something. What? <gasps> this has a pencil! Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what I use each one for when we're looking at the paper. But now you can tell the difference between the Giovanni, which is like an orangish brown, the dark brown scout and the golden brown scalp. So, um, here, will you hold these two up and we can compare all of them? Okay, let's this compare one. all of them. And, uh, she, my mom is just okay, stuffing hold, me hold with Hold them up pens. closer to the camera. Okay. So, there's... <laughs> it's a booklet! There's the line up right there. <laughs> okay? Um, ah, they're heavy! And actually, I wanted to tell you the different sizes that they call these. So, um, these two are A5, which is kind of like, um, if you fold a standard piece of paper in half, that's like A5 size. And so it's easy to find notebooks to put in there because the notebooks are also called A5 size. But then, um, Chic Sparrow has some names that don't really you can't find like notebooks that have the same name so like this one is called narrow which i don't really understand how they get the name because it is like um it's or no this is the wide i'm sorry that's why i get confused because the wide is more narrow than the a5 size just a little bit more narrow just um, by a little bit it's like about the same height but it's a little bit more narrow, but this is called wide, okay? I made a mistake, so this is wide. Um, <laughs> every, every person makes mistakes. Yeah. Here's mama's. And then this little guy is called the A6. Look, that's so cute! It's so, tiny! This is A5. That's A6. And then this is called personal. Personal? It's Pers so personal. personal. It's our personal. <laughs> Don't look! So, Don't um, look! So I had to figure out like what size notebooks were going to fit in each of these and that's what I'm going to show you next is what notebooks I put in them and we'll do a little test to see 
if the, the papers feather, bleed, or ghost. Okay? Fe so ghost? We're gonna um, go to our table now. Bye. Hi, pen friends, we're back. We're so back. I'm not gonna um, demonstrate Wait, the paper. We never left. <laughs> in this notebook, you can put, and if you have a ring bound one, you can just use any paper you want. But I use a HP printer paper for that one. Um, in this one, I use this journal for what I call pen fun, which is just testing out my fun playing fun with pens, pens. And playing with pens. So I just <laughs> write like, you know, it's not really a journal. It's just random things. Um, random and, things. So in this one, I have, um, this is an A5 Enigma notebook that I bought from Taroko shop on Etsy. And I'll put everything um, about my notebooks in the description of this video if you want to look it up. But this one I bought as a B grade notebook, which means it had something wrong with it, but I couldn't notice anything wrong with it. So it was a really good deal for me. And well, what if someday you just notice it and it like is really, really bad and you're like, why did I buy this? So this has um, 384 pages of 68 GSM white Tomoe River paper. And this is my favorite notebook, but um, because of the, um, there's like a rumor going around that Tomoe River paper is no longer going to be produced. So it's really hard. Yay! It's really hard to get Tomoe River paper these days because everyone's buying it up. But I do love this notebook and I wish I could get more of them. So um, this one has the dot grid and Eve is going to test it with this um, Noodler's Conrad and Ebonite that I've replaced the nib on. It has a Goulet fine nib, yeah. fine steel nib. And, I'm gonna... and the ink in it is platinum carbon black. So go ahead, Eve. I'm going to draw can... a bunny and write bunny underneath. Okay, and then so we'll see, see how good it is for drawing and writing. Yeah, and we'll see if um, it bleeds or ghosts or feathers or any of that stuff. I've never heard of it ghosting. Yeah, ghosting means that you can see what you you wrote on the other side of the paper, on the back of it. That's what I call um, bleeding. Well, bleeding is when the ink actually seeps through the paper, but ghosting is when you can just see, like, it, the paper is kind of see-through, you know? Like, the ink didn't go to the other side of the paper, but you can see the shadow of it from the other side. So this paper is very thin. So um, it does usually have some ghosting, so you can usually see through it a bit. But um, the ink, uh, it's very good for seeing sheen if you have a sheening ink or shading. Um, and you know, the, it's very smooth. And it's really great paper with fountain pens. Okay, good job. I made a so, bunny swimming. What did you think of that paper as you were writing? Was it nice to write on? Yeah, it was. It was kind of yep. nice to write on. So I, I, wait, I wanna. Draw I'm gonna a show her. No, we're gonna do really okay. quick because we have like seven papers to show. So I don't see any um, feathering or bleed. Let's look at the other side of the paper. Um. So you can see the bunny through the paper, but none of the ink went actually through the paper. So this is what's called ghosting, yeah. but not bleed, didn't bleed through. Uh, um, Some of my really wet pens, as you can see, do have a little bit of bleed through there, but not usually, so. I wanna um, say something. Okay, um, go ahead. It's funny because um, if you put this page underwater and then dried it, it would look like that. It would kind of fade mm -hmm. off, and it, it, it's as if the bunny was drawn on that page and then it was just in water. That would so cool. in most of my notebooks, I keep a piece of blotting paper. These ones are from J. Herbeen. I don't know how to pronounce French, but anyways, you know Herbeen. that that company. <laughs> they make inks and paper also, but they make blotting paper or they make inks and pens and blotting paper and so blotting paper. <laughs> I keep that in there because sometimes um, especially on Tomoe River paper it might take a little longer to dry so you can just keep that in there so that when you close your book you don't get ink wait I need to, to the write other a, side. I need to write bunny well you can write bunny on the okay. next one but we need to keep going here so the next one 
is the Giovanni. Um, so for this one, I write like projects, um, ideas for projects like home improvement or whatever other kind of projects I have going. Yeah, like and our, this, our toilet makes a yeah. screaming so sound. That is because well. I couldn't <laughs> get another Enigma um, notebook, which had the Tomai River paper in it, uh, but I like the size of it for the A5. I bought another notebook from Taroko shop on Etsy, and this is called the Mystique. Um, it was also a B-grade notebook. Um, so this is the A5 Mystique. It has 352 pages of 80 GSM Taroko orchid paper. Orchid paper? Yeah, is it flower-made paper? Um, I don't really know. It's not, I'm sure it's not made out of orchids, but anyway, it's, it's got the orchids. same like dot grid and the, um, you know, it feels kind of similar to the Tomoe River, but um, I found the performance is different. So go ahead and test it for us, please. This one's going to be simpler, so I think okay. we'll have time to draw the... Do you like my drawing, Mom? Yeah. You can move it down a little bit. You can see better what you're doing. Okay, okay. you're done. And wait, I need to draw it right, Bunny. Okay. All right. So on this one, um, it's not too bad. It it seems like it does a little bit more feather feathering. Um, if you can see there. Or and it might be, just be my drawing that's, my writing that's weird. Let's look at the other side. So, it does go Yeah, it had bit. some bleed through here. Yeah, and some, some bleed and some ghosts. So I don't think this um, orchid paper is as good as the uh, Tomoe River paper. Yeah, because it, it, it replaces a bit more of the ghost with um, bleed. Okay, so then our next one is the, um, it's going to be the dark brown scout, and this is in the A4 also, I mean the A5, A5 <laughs> and I told you I'd show you the pen loop. This is the new pen loop that they only did for a little while. It's not sewn in, it's just got a slit in the, um, you can take this out if you want. Um, I have a pencil in it because I use this for sketching and drawing. Yeah, because my mom's an artist. Yep. Yes, yes. So she is. Um, I don't think this pen loop is as good. It moves around a lot when you're trying to um, get your pen or pencil in there. Um, I so, can't believe my mom's using a pencil instead of a fountain pen. Well, this Shocker. one I use for sketching. So sometimes I might use a fountain pen in here. Um, I actually have two different, um, I have two notebooks in there, and because the covers are thin, I put um, an A5 Midori MD notebook cover and clear on each one, and I have the elastics going through the cover, and st the plastic cover, instead of the notebook cover, just so that my notebooks don't get all ripped up. Um, and it sort of doesn't fit all that well in there, but it does the job. So, um, and I got those uh, Midori clear covers on Amazon, but you can also get them on jet pens. Um, and so the paper that I have in here is really for, this one is a, um, both of them are Strathmore five and a half inch by eight inch um, notebooks. The first one here is for mixed media and the other one is white sketchbook paper. So we'll try it. We'll try the fountain pen on both of them, okay? So go yeah, ahead. And, um, this is a like thicker paper. This, the first one, the mixed media, um, yeah, it's for made for like wat light watercol watercolor washes. And um, okay. I haven't tried it with pen yet. So go ahead and try it with the fountain okay. pen. Um, I need to get comfortable. Draw right okay. here. It has a little bit of texture to the paper. Does that make it hard to write on? Kind of. Yeah. It's kind of like bumpy. Yeah. So um, I bought 
these Strathmore um, like journals or sketchbooks on Amazon. Um, and then I also found some at Ocean State Job Lot. And I thought that at Ocean State Job Lot, things were always cheaper than other places, but they were actually um, up to like a dollar more expensive at Ocean State, but I had some gift cards, so that's why I decided to buy them there. But Strathmore is a really good um, art paper or art supply company, so I knew that the paper would be good. All right. So let's... <laughs> it's seeing you huh. seeing So this it. is the mixed media paper, and it's a nice thick paper, and it looks like it did well with the fountain pen, so I don't see any feathering on there. Mm -hmm. And actually, there's no, there's no bleed or ghosting. But That's there, it. there was like a little problem with the the bumpiness. Yeah, I, I, it was I felt, a little more difficult. Yeah, I, I felt like I had to hold it just a bit harder, but not so hard that it'll rip. So I um, keep these clips in here just because it's a little hard to um, keep the books open um, just on their own. They'll like flip closed. So. I that's, just clip that's it open. A problem that I have too. Yeah. So I just clip the paper open so that it'll stay. That's like a that. good tip. I'll use that later for my um books yeah. for Legos. So this is the um, Strathmore um, sketch paper. They also have a drawing paper, but it's uh, cream colored, and I don't really like cream color. So um, the sketch paper is white, and I like that better. And I had a hard time finding um, A5 size sketchbooks, so that's kind of why I settled on these ones. Um, they have sort of a like soft feeling, I think it's, well, like a coated paper cover. It's um, not stiff at all, it's like a flexible cover. Um, and, you know, if it would be easy to bend it up. So that's why I think it it works well inside a leather cover. Um, but I wouldn't want to put the elastic holders through it because it would probably get kind of ripped off. So let's look at this. This one- The bunny is sleeping, aw. I see some feathering going on with this paper. Um, so let's- it's not as good with, I use it mostly a pencil with this sketch paper. Um, I, I think, it has a little I think my tiny bit is... of, um, of like bleeding and ghosting. Um, I, I want to say that, um, I felt like my hand was just kind of wobbling a bit more. Yeah. Well, sometimes. it was not exactly flat. I didn't get it completely flat for you, so that might have made it hard to write on. Yeah, I tried to make it as, as straight lines as I okay. could. Okay, so this little A6 one, um, I have a little notebook that I got as a gift, but it didn't have any branding on it, so I'm not gonna, we're not gonna review that. Um, sorry, I just don't know what it is. Um, and then, now we're gonna do the wide um, Chic Sparrow. This one I have, this one I use as my journal, like my everyday, just regular what happens in the day journal. And this came from Think Inc, which Think um, Inc. it's, you can go to their website, it's designworksinc.com and I'll put everything in the description, but anyways, um, this, Everything I think, in the they call it the cloth journal because it has like a hardcover cloth. Um, it, it's like a hardcover with a um, one of those ribbons for keeping your place. And so let's see, it has subject and date and everything in there. 
um, and everything. And my yeah. my mom usually doesn't write the date in the date spot. No. <laughs> and I'm always like, just, just so write this, it in the date spot. This journal is about five inches by eight and a quarter inches, and it's got 200, 240 lined pages of acid-free paper. Yes, we measured this. We do a lot to make these videos. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Okay, go ahead and... Wh which pa pa this. page? Um, let me think of a uh, bunny design first. Oh. So this paper is also on the thin side and um, it's a little less smooth than Tomoy River paper, but it's still, oh, it's actually very smooth. Okay, maybe I take that back. It's about the same smoothness as Tomoy River. Yeah, I'm having a good um, time drawing this book. Yeah, I wasn't, this is the only notebook from, um, from that company that I have, Design Works Inc. Um, but I've been really impressed with it, so I would buy another one from them. I think I either got this journal as a gift or I got it at, like, TJ Maxx or something. Wait, I, didn't... I forgot to draw the tail. Well, we need to move along, Scoop. You can... Alright, so... I... There might be a tiny bit of feathering, but I don't, I don't really see much. I it's think it was good. just my wobbly writing. Um, I'm still not the best artist. And there, artist there, there is some on. bleed and ghosting. So sometimes I don't mind it and I just write on both sides. But sometimes I only write on one side of this paper. But, you know, it's, it's decent for fountain pens. All right. And then the last notebook um, is this personal sized one. And it's so for this personal. one. Cover it up. It's personal. <laughs> I have three little inserts in there held in by the elastics, and I got these inserts from Paper Penguin Company on Etsy, and each one of them has this um, brown craft cover, but each one it has a different um, thing inside. So this one is a colorful calendar, and um, I, you can choose whether you want it to start on Monday or Sunday and I chose Monday. Um, and this paper, she doesn't, the person who owns the Paper Penguin Company doesn't specify what kind of paper this is, um, but it has 52 pages of white paper in it. So Eve, if you want to just, if you can do something up here in this area. Yeah. Can't I draw it over mm, here? No, because I'm going to be using the calendar, and I want to leave the calendar without writing in it. But if you can do, like, something up there. I'm doing the ears first. So this is pretty smooth paper, but as you can see probably already, it has a lot of feathering and also bleed in show through I think but we'll get a closer look in a minute. The iPad was um, low on energy there for a minute so I don't know if it kept recording but you can see that on this paper there is kind of a lot of feathering. Yeah, I, I noticed that right away. Especially when I was um, drawing the nose, I had to draw it between the ears, and there was a lot of feathering. There's some That's bleed, bad. not a lot of show through or ghosting, but there is some bleed, and I would not really suggest this for fountain pens. Uh -uh. She doesn't have any uh -huh. um, Tomoe River paper for her um, calendars, but she does have it um, in like, dot grid or plain like um, plain paper or lined so I the other two inserts that I have I have the um, the plain paper and the lined paper and these are both 
um, 52 GSM white Tomoe River paper, and they both have 160 pages in them. So since this is, um, they're both the same paper, they just have different um, printing on them. We'll just do it, we'll just write on one of them, okay? So I really like the Tomoe River paper the best, and I hope that it's still going to be made available. Um, you know, it would be really surprising if they stopped making it, but it is difficult to find these days. Okay, very nice. So there's a girl with her holding her bunny. The um, bunny is like, I don't want to be held. <laughs> So, as usual, Tomoe River paper works really well. There's no feathering. Um, the ink looks really nice on the paper. There's show-through, so that might bother you. Yeah, just you might, a bit of ghost. might not want to, yeah, there's some ghosting. You might not want to write on the back side of this paper, but there's no bleed-through. And Unless you want just, to draw the same thing twice on the I same find paper. that it's a really pleasant experience writing on Tomoe River paper. So um, I think that's it for now. If you have any questions, the whole put them video in the is comments. basically I love Tomoe <laughs> River paper. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't know if I mentioned, but um, the size of these inserts that fit into the per personal size Sheik Sparrow cover, they're oh, come um, on, Abby. Hi. excuse me, they're B6 slim inserts, and they fit really well. So and you know because they're thin, they're held in easily with the. Um, with the elastics. All right? And All our right. body is hopping around very bye. noisily. Bye. bye.